Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to save files from an email to SharePoint and using Power Automate. If you enjoy Power Automate, Power Apps, SharePoint, and Teams videos, feel free to subscribe because we put on more videos in those areas. And now for my intro. All right, so I'm going to show you how to save files from an email to your SharePoint automatically with Power Automate. So in my case, I'm going to be receiving an automated email that contains an Excel file, and I want to save the Excel file to my SharePoint. So this is going to be what the report looks like, just a simple Excel file with a table, we have a file, and then I'm going to go into my SharePoint, and I want to save this in the documents. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. So in my case, I'm just going to name this automated reports. And that way I can store all of the files inside of that folder. So let me go ahead and navigate over to Power Automate. In my case, this is going to be, well, in everyone's case, this is going to be an automated cloud flow because we want it to automatically pull from your email address. I will just say automated report. And for the trigger, it's going to be I'm just going to type email. It's going to be when a new email arrives, but this is going to be version three, since this is going to my personal email. So we have when a new email arrives. So in my case, I don't want every email from my email that comes to my email address to be saved. So in your case, if you're getting automated reports, try to have whoever's sending it send the exact same subject name so in my case, I'm going to add a subject filter on the left-hand side. So I'm just going to call my file all automated, automated report. So it's going to be the subject filter every time. You can also add from a specific person. So if a specific person sends you the email every week, you can go ahead and add that. In my case, I want to include all the attachments. So make sure you have that flag to yes. And then we're going to add an action. This is going to be get attachments. So we're gonna get the email attachments. And that is going to be the Office 365 connector. So get attachment V2. Let's go ahead and add the message ID. So we're just gonna look at the dynamic content. In my case, this will be the message ID. And the attachment ID, it will be the attachments, attachments, attachment ID. So when you click on that, it's going to put it in a for each loop. And that's because you can have multiple attachments on an email. So I'm going to show you later in the video, but sometimes users will have like a picture in their signature of their email. Let's say like a company logo and everything. And that will actually pick up with this workflow. So I will show you how to get around that later in the video. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and get the Excel file that we are sending. So we have the get attachment. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add an action. This is going to be create file. And that is going to be under SharePoint. So you go ahead and navigate to your site address. In my case, it's going to be marketing. And then we have the folder path. Since I'm saving this in the documents folder, it's going to be shared documents and then automated reports. So for the file name, we're going to go ahead and add the name. So it's going to be get attachment. And then we're going to have name of attachment. But just be cautious. If you have the same file coming in every week with the same file name, this might fail because you can't save the same file name in a SharePoint folder. So whoever's sending you these automated reports, in my case, uh, just make sure they add a timestamp on the end of the file name, and that should correct the issue. So for file content, it's going to be get attachments, and that is going to be content bytes, so content of attachment going to go ahead and save this it looks correct and I'll go ahead and navigate over to my Outlook and I will set up an email all right so I went ahead and attached it I'm going to add my subject and that's going to be automated email I'm just going to say hi attached is the automated email thanks Michael 
let me just double check to make sure the subject is the same as what I put in here. So automate report so that it is not the same. Automate report. I'll go ahead and send this. It should only take around a minute for Power Automate to receive the email. So I'll just go ahead and wait. Then we'll come back to the video when we receive the file. All right, so we received the file seven seconds ago. It succeeded, so let's just go ahead and check this out. So we had one file on that email. A one-on-one, get attachment, create a file. So let's go ahead and navigate over to my Automate Reports folder. Go ahead and click on Open. Open in browser is fine. And as you can see, we have the report that was sent to my email, basically like a copy of what I received. So it's working perfectly. So in my case, let's say whoever's sending me these automated reports has a logo picture in their email signature. I don't want to save that picture every time I save the report. I'll go ahead and show you how to fix that. All right, so it's going to be the same for when a new email arrives. Include attachments is fine. Subject filter is fine. The for each loop is fine. We will have the get attachment right here. So message ID, ID still. And then after that, we want to go ahead and add a condition. So this condition is going to be based on the file name. So if the file name contains my extension, so it's going to be XLSX. And I do actually want to create that file. So I'll go ahead and drag the create file over here. Let me go ahead and choose a value for my condition. It's going to be get attachment. And I'll go ahead and do the name of the attachment because the name will contain the file extension. Usually when someone has a sign picture in their signature, it's most likely going to be a dot PNG. So a picture file. I want to do mine contains XLSX because that's the file I'm actually working with and want to save to my SharePoint folder. If it contains anything besides that, it's not going to save that file at all. Everything looks the same. We just want to add that condition there to filter out anything that is in the file we want to work with. Let me go ahead and navigate over to my email and set up a email with a picture in it as well as the report I want to save. All right, so I went ahead and created a email. So in my case, I added a picture of a dog. So that would be someone's company logo. Well, I'll go ahead and send this over and then we will go ahead and look at what Power Automate does. I wanna go ahead and save that flow before that email gets triggered. <laughs> So I think I got it off. We should be good on that. And we'll just wait for the email to show up in Power Automate. All right, so it ran successfully. Let me go ahead and navigate over to Flow and then we'll just check it out really quick. So as you can see, the for each loop actually brought in two items. So that's gonna be your, my, in my case, it's gonna be the Excel file, but also it's going to be the picture file from the signature. So the get attachments, let's just see if it created it on the first one. So the first one was actually the Excel file. So that went ahead and created it. Second case, we'll go ahead and see what the get attachment is. So the second item was the picture file. So this was a .jpg. It wasn't the XLSX that we put in the condition. So this ran into false. And since we have no actions there, just ended. It didn't create the file. Go ahead and navigate over to my SharePoint. You can see the file was created. We open it. We have the automated report. So everything looks good. So that is how you save a file from an email using Power Automate. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next video.